Hi guys, my name is Kriva and I'm Aideen and welcome back to DCTV at the Netflix and Chill Ball and we're joined now by Dahi who was of course the star of the night on a set which we really 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 enjoyed. So <laughs> how was it for you Dahi? It was great, yeah it was really really good fun. It was, it was my first kind of proper time in DCU when mm -hmm. I was like much much younger when I was about 18 I played in like the cafe part of the Helix is it? No the Helix is the corner. And I played, I was supporting like Ryan Sheridan at the time and we were both oh like total unknowns. Yeah, so then I haven't really played in DCU at all, so it's been really good to get back and like play a really good, like proper gig. Straight up, you are insanely talented. That gig was amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank we you. We were up much. at the front dancing the whole time, but you were just saying there you were supporting Ryan Sheridan. Mm. But you've gone on to support the likes of the XX and Santigal, like that's amazing. Just tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, yeah, like I mean, I've been very lucky to get like a whole pile of different supports. Um, it's kind of weird because the type of music that I do is kind of hard to kind of place and stuff. So a lot of people yeah. put me in weird places. So like, <laughs> supporting the XX was a really weird one because I was like much more energetic. So I was like trying yeah. to slow everything down. But uh, yeah, I mean, I did DJ Shadow in, in Galway when he was there, and that was really, really good. And um, I guess uh, Macklemore I did in, uh, in wow, the Academy. Amazing. And just for the crowd alone, that was absolutely nuts. Like, mm -hmm. really into it. So, yeah, that was I was good. in that crowd, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <rock on. laughs> you gather a lot of your music from the West of Ireland. So, like, unique. So, I was just wondering, like, where did you find your unique sound and where's your biggest inspiration in music? Yeah, I mean, this new idea of, of going out and, like, recording samples from where I'm from um, kind of came about about, about six months ago. I was kind of, I was getting really tired of dance music in, in mm -hmm. that, like, the problem with dance music a lot of the time is that it, it serves one purpose and that's to get people going mm. but then after that there isn't a huge amount of feeling in a lot of it so I kind of wanted to do something that kind of meant a bit more to me so the the, the thing that I thought was like most interesting about, about what I do and where I'm from is, is the, the area around me and like the kind of the the nature I guess around the place so I took to like started recording samples and, and Tribes is the first kind of EP of that kind of turn um, so I'm taking a ton of different like um, I guess like vocal samples from interviews around where I'm from and and mixing them into C sounds and stuff and then putting them into track it just makes it feel like a bit more um, valuable to me mm -hmm. like I value those yeah. tracks a bit more than mm -hmm. anything I've written before so yeah it's it been is a good. brilliant EP yeah. and apart from I guess the West what else would inspire your music is there anyone out there at the moment that would inspire your music yeah I mean there's a load of dance people who have been really really um, inspiring I think Caribou would probably be one of the most yeah, um, inspiring fans. people and like I just love his live show as well I think he had a lot of um, like once I started doing the live show that I'm doing now, I kind of wanted, I took a massive inspiration from him and from mm -hmm. um, guys like Jamie XX on his live stuff. And yeah, there's been there's been tons of people. Um, there's a really good, healthy like dance scene that kind of comes to Ireland for the festivals and stuff on the yeah, really big yeah, stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, like Hot Chip last year were really, really good. Really and good. Mm -hmm. again, like those big shows are really inspiring to me. And then mm -hmm. from the Irish side, I mean, the like Galaxy have been my friends for a really, really long yeah. time. And just to see them going from one spot to like absolute star. <laughs> <laughs> Has been has been incredible yeah. and really inspiring to see what they did to move forward. You know, so so tribes is doing like really well right now, and mm. obviously the biggest track um, is Mary Keane's introduction, That's right? Yeah, um, yeah, which we are absolutely we were in for it for the entire set. It's your grandmother on mm -hmm. the track. Yeah. Did she tell you this story in advance, and then you decided, do you know what, I'm going to make a song out of this, or? Did you just sit down with your granny one day and decide, do you know what, we're going to sit down, we're going to have a chat, you're going to tell me a couple of things, <laughs> and, and I'm going to record make it. Into it. A song. <laughs> See, it, it's, it's kind of weird because, like, my grandmother talks like that all the time. Like, she's just constantly like that, and the, and the way she talks is, is that kind of very kind of. Uh, I guess cheeky storytelling <laughs> yeah. would be her, her theme or her vibe. But uh, but yeah, I didn't really think about it properly or recording it until I didn't actually do that interview. Um, another woman did that interview while she was trying to make a radio show and she was interviewing oh, one cool. old person from every county. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was really interesting. It was kind of, I, I heard it and uh, I was like, geez, that sounds nuts. And just having the separation of, of not listening to my grandmother in front of me and actually hearing her talk on an interview was yeah. like, oh, that's really interesting. So then putting it into a track, like just started working really well. And, and then when I heard that and I fell in love with him, I was just like, that's gold. That's gold. That's that happen. line. <laughs> that I line. Is, love it's all. the line. Like, yeah, yeah. And, and like, everything like, builds up him. to that. Yeah. And like, <laughs> like, that's a heavy edit. Like, that's like, that was a two hour interview. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> it's God. cut, like, really, really tight. Yeah, and, cut and that out is the goal. A ton of stuff. Yeah. I yeah. mean, and everyone loves so. the song. And it went down so well tonight. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. even my mother is obsessed with that <laughs> song. And it's, I think it's because of that influence from the West and, like, yeah. that kind of like traditional influence. A lot of people are just loving it at the moment. Yeah. And the rest of the Tribes EP 
has that influence as well so mm -hmm. it's something that we really do love about your music so talk about festivals uh electric picnic of course announced their lineup this week yeah, and yeah. Are not on it, yeah. So, yeah you're not on it then so it's the first 27 acts mm. we'll the first that, 27 so. acts there's more to come that's all we'll see i've i've played i've played electric picnic a good few times and yeah. i really hope mm -hmm. to go back again uh it's it's for, for me it's like this kind of end of year thing every year mm -hmm. where it's kind of I, I announce what I'm doing next. So like Electric Picnic last year was the first time that I played the show that I'm doing now with yeah. like a lot more fiddle and a lot more kind of that bass synthesizer stuff. And mm -hmm. the first time to really like do that properly was Electric Picnic last year, and it set me up to like do this year. So this Electric Picnic is gonna be the same thing, I think. So yeah, yeah, it's no, be we're fun. really excited for it. Who on the lineup are you particularly looking forward to seeing? Um, God, like I mean, LCD and Sound System has been like a huge influence yeah. of mine yeah. for years. Uh, I'm really like what Jack Garrett is doing at the moment. And, He's amazing. And Pretty soon. Incredible. Uh, I think Daniel Avery is on yeah. it as well, mm -hmm. who I saw in Primavera two years ago and was just mind blowing. Um, so yeah, I mean there's tons of people and there's going to be even more, like you, you can't really ask. That's what's so exciting anymore. about it, I love how they kind of give it out in drips and drabs. And yeah. Yeah, can't wait to see Daddy like, yeah, on it next. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. We're just wondering, and will Gail go get? Uh, Ta, piece of beer. Uh, piece of beer. Uh, yeah. Inter. Uh, so on me, Tosa, a calorie shot in the grill again, Lena. Kim Gumai. Yeah, Nina Sagum. Yeah, Egoni, Danum, Rodig. Rodig, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Tommy Egoni, Egoni, so Egoni being like Rodion. It's actually the Gilgit and Galavate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, being to stock. Special to you guys. Yeah, maybe we'll have like a huge chat in the Gilga festival sometime. Yeah, I mean they're doing that Ravlo thing, which is going to be yeah, great. Like, we're yeah, we're yeah. that. We're very yeah. excited for Ravlo. I'm, 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 I'm interested in that as well. Then we'll yeah. see how it goes. Yeah. So we're at the Netflix and Chill Ball. So we're wondering what is your favorite Netflix show? Uh, at the moment, I mean, I guess like. Uh, one thing that I've been watching a ton of because mm -hmm. I watched uh, Making a Murder uh, yeah, on my own course. first in about like one sitting and then, <laughs> and then I showed it to my dad and like ever since like every single time I've come home he's just been like Oh, it's the old Netflix <laughs> and I get to plug it in, like and plug it into the TV, and he yeah. doesn't even know what Netflix is, and like, like it's it's awesome. So it, like that thing is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been a big fan of Community for years. It's been really great. And one thing that's really really good, even for I guess anyone trying to create something, mm -hmm. is there's a there's a program called Chef's Table, oh. um, which is like a, a kind of a, like a cooking program, but it's basically they they follow like a Michelin star chef uh, in each episode, and it kind of it doesn't really talk about the food all that much. It talks about like what inspired. Wow, how they got stuff. there? Yeah, yeah, that's and incredible. that's been like watching that was like really, really inspirational mm -hmm. for me alone. Like even just thinking about trying to get inspiration for stuff. So anyone creating stuff should look at Chef's Table. Well, well, Dahi, it has been yeah. absolutely brilliant speaking Thanks to you. Thank me. you Cheers. so much for playing at the Netflix and Chill Ball. <laughs> Thanks, we had the best time of our lives. <laughs> we danced all night. <laughs> Thanks a million, Dahi. So Cheers. Thanks for having uh, me. keep watching DCTV for more interviews from the Netflix and Chill Ball. Until next time, bye. bye.